Good morning, Connorsville High School. Today is Friday, September 29th, 2017. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The adoptive grandparent group will take their first visit to the South Connorsville Care Home on Wednesday, October 4th from 2.30 or directly after school until 3.30. If you plan on volunteering, you must sign up in room 228 before the end of the day on Tuesday, October 3rd. Bible Club will now hold their meetings on Mondays instead of Wednesdays. Meetings are held in Mrs. Riccio's room directly after school. Please join us. History Club will meet on Monday, October 2nd in room 217 during homeroom. Anyone interested in joining, please attend. Attention, all freshman English classes. You should report directly to the auditorium on Monday, October 2nd. Attention to all those planning on attending the Cinderella. It will be held on Friday, December 1st and not the, the night before Thanksgiving. This dance is for sophomores, juniors, and seniors only. Today in sports, the varsity golf team is playing away at Gateway. Enjoy your final match, guys. And tonight is the big homecoming game against Franklin Regional. Join us at the stadium to show your Falcon spirit. Tomorrow, the girls' soccer team will be playing away at Penn Trafford. Good luck, girls. Today we have a special feature, Friday interview brought to you by the broadcast media class. Enjoy getting to know one of Connorsville's new staff members and we will be back in a minute. Hello, uh, welcome to Falcon Productions. I'm Ryan Craig and I'm here with our special guest Mrs. Richter. Uh, when you were a child growing up what did you want to be? Hmm. Um, I kind of bounced around every few days but um, I did want to be a teacher at one point but then I thought about being a dentist and a pilot, all kinds of odd things, but eventually settled on being a teacher. Nice, nice. And who were your role models growing up and why? I mean, I had a few, but my biggest role model was probably my oldest sister. She was the first person in my family to go to college and graduate from it. That's great, that's awesome. Uh, what college did you attend? I went to Slippery Rock. Um, do you live in Connellsville? Uh, and if not, where do you reside? I do technically, I guess, but Bullskin Township. <laughs> it's it's pretty much Connellsville. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> was education, uh, you know, your first choice, and if not, was it a good fit for you? It you wasn't. Know? I actually started out as a psychology major, but after my first semester, I really liked my English courses and decided to change majors. Nice. A lot of That's different nice. things. Uh, what about any pet peeves? Do you have any of those? Um, people who bite their nails. <laughs> It's just a dirty habit. <laughs> yeah. If there is one or more things that you can name about loving teaching, what would they be? Probably my favorite thing is whenever there's someone who's having trouble with a certain concept or can't understand something and they have that light bulb moment when it just kind of clicks and gotcha. I was able to help them. Gotcha. And last but not least, what is your impression of Connellsville so far? It's been, it's been good. Uh, everyone's been really inviting and welcoming my first few weeks here. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, that's about all. Uh, we do want to give you a gift from the Falcon Productions. It's a mug with other uh, specialties oh, in there. thank you. No problem. And uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here. And we'll take it off to TK. I would like to thank Mrs. Richter for interviewing with us. We now have here Mrs. Jyoti. Mrs. Jyoti, how are you today? I'm good. Would you mind if we asked you a few questions? Sure, go ahead. All right, sure. Um, what college did you attend? Point Park University, downtown Pittsburgh. Okay, cool. And uh, was education your first choice going in, or did you pick oh, no. something different? No. I started out as a photography major. Okay. And then I went uh, as a theater major, and then I ended up with a degree in journalism and communications, and then mm -hmm. my senior year it said, why not teach? So I went back and got my education degree, too. Okay. Yeah, so I had a various, various amount of different degrees there. Cool, yeah. cool. Okay, um, what is your favorite sporting team? West Virginia Mountaineers. I got the shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> you do. So supporting your you own do. team. All you right, do. cool. Uh, what kind of hobbies or pastimes do you enjoy? Well, I like spending time with my grandson. He's going to be turn one oh, wow. uh, next month. And uh, I like to do crossword puzzles. I like to travel. Cool. Yeah, where do you like to travel to? Well, uh, my daughter now lives in New York City, so we go okay. to New York City a lot. Cool, nice. Do uh, you have any pet peeves you might want to share with us that you have? You mean about students or about life in general? Mm, do both. Oh, well. Let's see, my pet peeve as far as life in general is 
get an education for goodness sake. That's a good. Don't point. be set. Yeah. Don't be set with your your cast in life if you're unhappy, and, and just sit there. Get an education. Do something about it. Mm -hmm. My pet peeve, as far as students are concerned, is put your name on your paper. <laughs> That's true. And staple your paper together. <laughs> don't ask me. Do you want me to put my name on my paper? No. Of course I don't. Yes, that's what that peeve of mine. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, what is the most um, the biggest thing you enjoy about teaching? The kids make me laugh. They la make me laugh and they keep me young. And uh, I think that's a whole lot about life. It is, definitely. Uh, what are your plans after you, uh, after you retire from teaching? <laughs> you mean if I ever retire? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Okay, well... We want, you, we want you to be here forever. Yeah, yeah all right. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be here forever. Um, I'm going to help babysit my grandson. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to travel, and I think I'm going to write a book. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Any ideas what you want to write or what you're writing? You know, I have a couple ideas. You know, my okay. husband is uh, is from the military. Mm -hmm. We're a military family, so a couple ideas kind of down that line. Okay, cool. Well, Mr. Jutsu, we want to thank you for being with us today. We want to give you in uh, thanks to our Falcon Productions, one of our mugs. Thank you and, very uh, much. We thank you again for being here. Okay, you're welcome. That was nice, Mrs. Richter. Welcome to Connellsville High School. Today's lunch will be a fish sandwich or a hot dog, pierogies, small salad, assorted fruits, and milk. You know where you can get a good hot dog, Annie? Where? The homecoming game tonight. Oh, make sure you come out and support and get yourself a hot dog. <laughs> the weather for the day is mostly sunny with afternoon clouds, high of 67 dipping down to 47. I think fall might have arrived. Ooh, it's going to be chilly. <laughs> the student council quote of the day is, victory belongs to the most persevering. Have a great day, everyone.